Hello and welcome to JJ's Food Review. So today I am at Arby's and uh, I've been out doing errands. I just had a really busy day, but good day. And uh, I actually haven't, I realized I haven't eaten anything except for a container of Parmesan cheese earlier today. So I thought I'd better get some to eat. So we've got some jalapeno poppers in here. And then that, um, that Grand Turkey Club sandwich, I believe it was called. Here's a jalapeno popper. It looks really nice and crispy and crunchy and soft on the inside. The moment when you realize your bag doesn't have any napkins. First world problems. So anyway, um, that was very tasty, very messy and very hot. It must have just been cooked up for me, nice, hot and fresh. It's uh, basically, <clears throat> Pardon me while I lick my fingers. Basically, it's a, a crisp, crunchy shell that had about half of a jalapeno inside of it and appears to be some warm cream cheese. They gave me some of this, it's called Arby's Bronco Berry Sauce, but I read the ingredients and they do not, uh, just doesn't sound very appealing to me. High fructose corn syrup, water, bell pepper, distilled vinegar, modified cornstarch, jalapeno pepper, vegetable juice concentrate added for color, potassium sorbate, and sodium benzoate, and the list goes on. So I decided not to try it. I do think I've had it in the past. Um, but it wasn't anything remarkable. It's mostly just sweet. So anyway, here's the here's the MVP or the star of the show in this uh, meal in this review. So it's gonna be Arby's, and Arby's is very good at crafting meat sandwiches. So you, you see, it comes in a nice little paper wrapper, and it's got plenty of thick sliced grilled turkey breast ice, I think that's what it is, and uh, it's got some nice uh, artisan lettuce, sliced tomatoes, and bacon, and some uh, some white cheese, and some ranch sausage here. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Mmm. This is fresh tasting, the tomatoes as well. I have zero complaints about this sandwich, it's very good. The bread is nice and uh, looks kind of dark brown, so it has a nice wheaty look to it. it tastes sweet. Um, the turkey is very nice and thick cut, very tasty, very flavorful. The cheese is good, the bacon is nice and peppery, the ranch sauce adds a nice uh, a nice sort of uh, element to it. So all in all, this is a very good sandwich and I'm going to be finishing this and uh, heading on my way. But overall, this I mean, this is a very good uh, meal. With the coupon, this sandwich was actually quite cheap for such a big sandwich, but I ended up, <laughs> I ended up paying kind of a lot anyway because the jalapeno poppers were four fifty, I think, and so with tax, the sandwich was like two fifty, and the jalapeno uh, poppers were four fifty. So that came to like seven dollars, and then I got a drink as well, a large drink. So it ran up my total with tax to about ten dollars. So it kind of felt plenty to be the sandwich to be the cheapest thing that I got. But anyway, it was good. These are tasty. Um, I give them a good score. Uh, a 
That's what it looks like. Hmm. Trying to get the camera to focus on it. But unfortunately, I don't have three hands, so I don't think I'll be able to do that for you. So anyway, I give this a 7 out of 10. Mostly because I'm really liking it, but it's nothing super remarkable. It's kind of generic. There's nothing that really jumps out about it at me, but it is tasty. So 7 out of 10. The sandwich on the other hand is quite remarkable and uh, expertly crafted. I mean, I'm fully satisfied with it. Uh, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. It's not necessarily up there with the elite level uh, meals, sandwiches I've had that is like, this is crazy, crazy good. But it's just, it's almost there. So I give it a 9 out of 10. So this is it for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon for another episode of JJ's Reviews. Take care, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.